Bouzou. Ami Bouzou. From southern Vermont. Such a beautiful place on this sacred earth. In this sacred earth. In this sacred cosmos. Mosquitoes are as strong here as anywhere else. <laughs> Taking that deep breath. Feeling this power in the no thing place. Spirit is everywhere and nowhere. It's the pause between breaths. It's the breath themse breath itself. More and more as you join me, I hope you're feeling this infinite intelligence as something consistently present, knowing, knowing the presence, knowing being. And I've been talking about that a lot because it's so central and foundational and sensual. Nature is sensual. We're not talking about a lack of feeling here. So within this infinite intelligence are these aspects of the intelligence, whether it's that ginkgo behind me, the birds, the trees, the stars, and they're invisible, like, so there's what we see, let's say this is what you see, right? There's this whole invisible part that constellates right here. This is happening everywhere, that there's a vibrational essence that you can't see, that we can't see with our eyes, but condenses or crystallizes into a form that we see with our eyes. And when I call on my spirit guides, I am asking for an aspect of that infinite intelligence to reveal itself and give me help, give me a perspective, help me look at, th look at things in a certain way. And it's, uh, it's profound. And I was just telling somebody, um, Here's a little, a little spray <laughs> for these mosquitoes. Yeah, a little, yeah, check it out. Anyway, as I was saying, these spirit guys have been so helpful and they've gotten stronger and more visible in the invisible to me. And I feel them in my heart and my body and whatever this thing called the third eye is. I know them more and more and I invite you to call on your spirit guides and ask them questions, use your drum, sing a lot, get to know them, form a deeper, fuller relationship with them, ask them about you know, intimate relationships about money, about how to serve in a better way. Yeah, ask them about next steps. 
it might seem like it's crazy, but I'm telling you, it works. I don't know how it works. I'll never know how it works, but it works. And it's beautiful. And I, um, I love assisting people who feel called to this path to use their voice, to listen to spiritual guidance, to make offerings consistently to the natural world and to that behind the visible, to the invisible, uh, with our thanks, our gratitude, with food. Yeah, food, liquor, tobacco, cornmeal. They love this stuff. Our voice. And from the materialist paradigm, from the secular paradigm, it all seems kind of kooky. But you try it on for size and let me and, and get back to me. And uh, yeah, let me know your experience, right? You can put down an experience right down below because they're here all the time. Thanks for listening.